Hi darlings, this is Christina at Makeup Box FYI and today we're talking about the Chanel Fall 2023 by Zons collection. So without further ado, let's get into it. Alright darlings, so for the two palettes I selected, I will put on the screen here the four options that they came in, but the two that spoke to me were the 328 Pure Cristal and 318 Parure These were the two that I felt were the most neutral. The others looked too much like Christmas, and I know I'd never wear the reds nor the greens, and I have so many golds in my collection that it just wasn't something that interested me. So I'm not gonna lie, what I've been trying to do with some of these newer releases is actually try them out um, before I do the reviews with you because I want to give you my honest thoughts in various case scenarios and various wear tests, trying them out, seeing how they wear best. Um, yeah, I just find it's very helpful for you. I do realize these are limited edition and unfortunately some of the best things from Chanel, some of the things I love, the palettes in particular, are limited edition and I hate that because it puts me on a timeline to need to get this to you sooner without really giving it a long review. So I'm going to give you my honest thoughts on this. 28 has a lot of neutral shades, a little of the cooler um, in the cooler color quad. I feel like this one shows up a lot more purpley pink, but let me just swatch these on my hand for you. These are the colors and it's got this pretty gold packaging. So that's very different. I thought that was very unique. Um, everybody's not necessarily a fan of this. I like when they try to do something a little different. I would love if the packaging um, outside of it kind of matched differently as well. That would have been kind of cool, but beggars can't be choosers. We'll take what they give us, but this is the color combo. This Byzance collection is incorporated by the Byzantine influences that inspired Gabrielle Chanel's jewelry pieces in a limited edition release, which these are. They are composed of four color harmonies inspired by color and sparkling precious stones in Mademoiselle's jewelry. Um, so the emerald green, the ruby red is kind of that idea. The eyeshadow palette is a gem in itself with this exclusive case and elevated gold color interior with hammered finish, which is remnant of Gabrielle Chanel's cuff bracelets. So just so you know what that was supposed to entail and honestly I have glasses like that too. I have the hammered, duh, they're right here. They actually have that same finish. So it's the hammered gold and it has Chanel on there. I don't know if you can see it. And I have many different pairs of glasses but these are like my favorite. I got these like a year and a half ago. So it's that same idea. It's good to know like that's what that was inspired by. So I'm not gonna lie, I was struggling with this palette. In particular, both of them because I felt like this reminded me of what Chanel's palettes typically look like. And I've never been drawn to their standard eyeshadows, and to be honest. I'm drawn to their limited editions because I feel like they're very special, they're very unique. These are very light, and you know what? There is a place for them, okay? With more I'm wearing them, I'm like, there's a place for them, but I'm gonna be honest with you, they're very light. I mean, they are very sheer coverage. It really is like a lot. You need to build them up. So. What I found is in order to get the best color payoff, I like to have some type of base. So I'm just gonna use my concealer right now. This the Dior Forever Skin Correct. I'm gonna put that on top of both my eyes. Right. And we're gonna start with this lightest color. I'm gonna be honest, the way I've enjoyed using these shadows is kind of like a two and done situation. I really like the two colors. I like this this pretty like pinky color. Shows up nicely, right? But it's very light. It's like a wash of color. And that's it. Like that's what you're getting right there. Okay, so 
What I've been liking to do is build upon that one. So for a crease brush, the other brush was just any kind of fluffy brush. It really is old and I don't have like a brand for it. I think it's like a Target brand of some sort. So I'm gonna take that crease brush, I'm gonna take this color here, and I'm gonna work that all throughout the edge and up. So this one really pulls in like a purplish pinky color. Um, and I think it works so nice. I like these two colors together. I think they're really pretty. And they make a really pretty like eye color in itself. Like if this were something I was gonna wear on a daily basis, like I've been trying to wear it as much as I can in my life to give you guys a good review. This is how I would typically wear it. I'd stop here because I'm not a big fan of this brown. And you're gonna see this color here, this blue shiny iridescence. I don't know if it's really cohesive with this palette. Like, it's giving me like uh, like sugar plum fairy, but like lacking. I'm gonna go with this brown color. <clears throat> and I'm gonna go right in the crease again, just to deepen the outer color, the outer portion of my eye. But that's where I'm gonna keep it. That's where this is gonna stay. I'm not gonna bring it any further. I'm just gonna right in here. So this is the look we have going here so far. I'm just gonna go over this really quick just to smooth everything out. And with the under eye, we're just gonna take this shade and this shade and we're gonna just put it under here. There we go, all those colors. This is the, this is the look. Now I'm gonna show you that color and I am gonna spray it because this color needs a little help. So use whatever finishing sprayer, what Fix Plus, whatever is your preference. And I'm gonna put on the inner corner. So quite honestly guys, I haven't been even using this blue shade. I use it like once and never again. Puree Cristal. 318 is a little more warm toned as you can see. And let me just swatch these for you as well. The colors, as you can see, very light. Um, like that peach just so barely shows up, but it's, it's, it's kind of there. I have my brush. I'm gonna go in kind of the same. We're gonna start with that. Um, we'll start with the lightest color. We'll start with this gold color. And I'll put it all over my eye with a fluffy brush. Now this is a pretty like, truly like one and done color. It's got a nice finish, a nice radiance. These are definitely more satin, more of a satin shade, just so you know. Um, I'm used to the Chanel palettes being a little more creamy. So this is kind of a different formula for me and I'm learning how to work with it, but it's different. Still nice, it still doesn't add any texture, of course. And I'm gonna take a fluffy brush go into this peachy shade. Now I feel like this shade is something that we've seen quite a bit, especially in like blush forms. That quad that came out, that large quad, it was a lot more um, pinky and more of like a highlighting color than this particular formula. Even the colors may be a little similar, but but very pretty. As you can see, there's there's some color payoff. It's nice. I'm gonna take a smaller little brush and we're gonna take this here brown color and we're just gonna focus it once again.
and I haven't really too much used this palette as much I've been using the pinker color 318 more I think I use this palette like once last week this just depends on like what color scrub combination I have and I just have a lot of this color in particular I'm gonna go back in with that peak the peach color just to brighten up that inner there I'm gonna do something different with this one. I'm gonna take this here iridescent color and I'm gonna pop it on the top here. Now this one leans green. So the other shimmer, iridescent, whatever this topper shade is, leans white blue. This one in this coloring goes um, white green. So I'm just gonna pop it over top, give it a little glossy finish. All right, so you see it. And I'll clean that brush off and I'm gonna take this little color here and put on the inner corner. And I think this way you're really gonna see that green color kind of come through. This color here, underneath the eye. And we'll take that brown color and add a little depth there. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna throw on my lashes, my liner, put on some bronzer, some blush, and I'm gonna show you some comparisons for some palettes that I have purchased recently that are very similar, and also compare them to the last fall release from Chanel. So, BRB. All right, darling, so I am back. I finished everything, but as I'm you know, I was applying everything and I was looking at the overall look and I just want to let you know I did also put the blue topper over top of my right eye just what so matched. Even though I don't personally like it like that, I wanted them to match. If you are a person who loves a cool tone look, this is your jam. If you like more warmer based, I feel like the 328 you're going to have a, a better feel with because this one is very unique because that of that green iridescent like little bit of topper I think it's really pretty I wasn't too much into it but I think it gives enough of that fall look without being too much because it almost does give me a little bit of Christmas with that green but it's not like the other palettes that are like green and red too much this is a nice subtle invitation to um a transition into fall so i have to say of the two palettes i definitely my partiality is i like warmer tones so it'd be 328 but let me show you kind of the comparison so this is the claw that came out um earlier for it was like one of the first things that came out in the not fall, spring, call, but it came sometime January, February time. And this is the um, Le Rouge You et um, Jules and Tindress 957. And I loved it because it reminded me of a highlighter, um, this color in particular, that I loved um, in a few years release. It was a duo of the blush and the highlighter. So let me just show you what this looks like here. I'm going to swatch it right next to there. So you see it's still different colorations, color variations. This is definitely more pigmented. Um, then let's do the brown color right next to it here. I'm going to swatch it next to that brown. But I'm going to tell you right now, it's definitely going to be leaning a little warmer. So those are the two. Now with this, I still love, and I love to use this as like, as like my highlighter but I would recommend to put the casing back on because I have seen people talk about these drying out and the best way to keep them from drying is to keep the casing on. anything that comes with the case I try to keep the case with it that's just my own personal thing in comparison to some things that I've recently picked up so this is the clay de Peau color in the what is it pink coral shell and this is the coloring so this actually reminds me of the other color the 318 pure cristal so what i'll do is i'll swatch pure cristal on my other hand and show you a comparison of that we'll swatch here of the pink coral shells so i'd say the closest ones would be maybe the brownish 
um, purpley tones, although the Pink Coral Show leans more purple. Um, the finish is different. The Chanel is definitely more a little more glisteny, sheeny versus the Clay de Peau that's a little more flat. Um, the last year palettes, do you remember everybody was in a rage for the tweeds? So I did get um, the Tweed Curve and Fauve, and you know I did a review on it last year. I loved it very much. This is the Fauve. So, you know, I've made some dents in these guys. Like, I wear my makeup. So this was definitely giving lots of vibrant colors. And as you can see, it's a much more opaque coloring right it's beautiful and i loved it definitely definitely was giving me fall vibes last year we had the tweed curve which also was very very rich very opulent these were inspired obviously by the tweeds um that chanel is so known for that house in their fashion so I love that a lot of their makeup just kind of, I would say it's a nod to the things that are part of the fashion house's history. So I love that about it. They really connect it so beautifully. But as you can see, very opaque, right? It's gorgeous. One of my favorite brown colors because it gives you the most easy smoky eye I've ever experienced in life. Up until like the YSL collection came out because that one's also is going to give them a run for their money with that. In comparison again, and sorry guys, it is so humid and hot today because of Hillary, Storm Hillary. It is really warm where I am right now, so I'm like so hot. Um, but I hope everybody is safe and everybody is well. <laughs> so you see how light these colors are in comparison to the fall collection? So, so different. I know a lot of people were disappointed with this collection there's a lot of reviews already out about it and so i tried to steer away from watching them because i had already received it i received it last sunday but i had already filmed my previous my video that's coming out this week i didn't have time to really record it i just it, the day was already gone by the time i received the package so i did a quick short which was not my best work um i do have another um dedicated chanel video coming out soon um i'm going to be recording that one but i see that all to say i had a lot of time and a lot of reviews have come out since that time how do i feel about this palette palettes i should say this fall collection <sighs> i think if you are a collector of these things and you like to have a little piece of the chanel collections and you really do wear your makeup i'd say pick one if you don't have anything that is leaning in any of these color palettes, which I'm sure you do, because we all have a lot of makeup usually, um, it just depends on what colors you're going toward. So if you like more warmer tones, like I stated, you may want to go toward the Pure Art uh, Vitienne. If you like to lean toward the cool, go toward the Art Cristal, because that one is really going to give you cooler leaning tone. I like them both, actually, and the more I wear them, the more I like them. I think there is a place for them if you don't want something so pigmented. They're right along the line of the Clay de Peau palettes, I would say, because they're very light and it takes a little bit to build them up. Really, really, I'm starting to enjoy them more than I was, you know, the first go round. Like, if this was my first impression, I would have been like, pass. Like, there's going to be other things out. Like, and there probably will be other great things coming out, but I think there is a place for this. And Chanel is doing what Chanel does best, and that is actually, you know, making beautiful, flattering tones for women of all ages without any creasing, falling out. It's very flattering universally. I hope this review helped. I know you probably have already watched quite a few reviews already, but for my coloring, if you're similar or you're a woman of color and you want to see what these palettes kind of translate on you, I think they're beautiful. If you know these aren't calling to you, you're not in love with them, then wait. You know there's gonna be way more releases coming out. Oh, darlings, I hope you have a great day, a wonderful week. Tell me what you think of this look, of what you think of the Chanel Fall collection thus far. But I will catch you guys very soon and can't wait to see you in the next one. All right, darlings, 